Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy. Today in this uh, short little video, I'm just gonna give you guys an update on what's going on. Um, you know, I just got back into where I live. I'm away from my parents, uh, or staying at my mom's or whatever. So uh, yeah, if you're uh, new to the channel, hey, don't be shy, subscribe. Uh, ensure you give me a thumbs up. I do truly appreciate that. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, I want to disclose not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about. Buy or sell after you do your own research, due diligence, and like the investments you're pursuing. All right, so um, yeah, uh, I drove all the way here. I'm just gonna talk about myself, and it was effing wild. These two deers almost uh, smoked me. Uh, I, I somehow got in between the one deer and I moved to the left and I didn't hit the deer but that was freaking scary um, and uh, yeah the drive was pretty wild uh, I gotta say driving up to northern BC is harder than driving uh, downhill I think I don't know I guess it just it's more like legs I didn't use a lot of the um, cruise control but anyways let's get into the video talk about uh, stocks so cannabis Erwin Simon he's kind of uh he's more talking about like there's going to be monopolies as far as there's only going to be a few companies that will survive kind of I guess and uh saying that uh uh small LPs uh because they can't sell enough that they're going to be eliminated and they're going to have to merge and I agree I was talking to Benjamin Smith I was replying on his thing I'm saying I'm like that's exactly it because the problem with the black market why they they're so prosperous is because there's no middleman but the the legacy market or whatever like these guys that have really good cannabis if they're trying to sell like I don't know maybe uh, 800 kilograms a year or a thousand kilograms a year at uh, say like ten dollars a gram or something like that well once it goes to the consumer it ends up being seventeen dollars a gram nobody wants to pay seventeen dollar a gram um, yeah in Ontario the OCS has really shitty pricing but that's not gonna last so um, yeah I mean people want to buy 150 to 180 uh, price per ounces and get some pretty decent good weed um, they're not expecting it to be world-class but people want to get that because they don't want to spend like 500 bucks a month uh, just because it's like a little bit superior uh, you go I go in the dispensary nobody's buying Whistler cannabis um, there's like maybe 0.06 percent of the population that wants to spend like 17 to 20 dollars a gram and they've been around a long time and they also have patience so the, these legacy companies that think they can just um, you know kick ass um, I got news for you they're not a lot of these companies will be decimated um, just because it's the the regulations aren't set up for these little companies to prosper in Canada um, it's, it's hard for any company but the bigger companies are more uh, have a moat around them so that's what's up uh, I don't think I'm gonna be making as many videos now I kind of want to focus on uh, ideally maybe in like five years I mean I, I don't know if I'll ever have a million subscribers like but regardless I uh, I think I just kind of want to do less videos but better quality in each video uh, someone someone who I look up to someone like Graham Stephan uh, for the real estate uh, that's what he focuses on uh, but for me I'd be a cannabis investment uh, you know just top-notch as far as all the information non-biased and uh, you know really grow the channel but it's not gonna happen now because I don't have the budget to make uh, like amazing videos and have like a nice studio where I can have like uh, things right now but you know in the future that, that would probably happen and uh, you know I just kind of want to do do less but more better quality so that when you uh, upload my video you know it's the top quality the best quality like less dilution not like uh, tons and tons of videos but just the, the, the most uh, important information so I'm not wasting you guys' time but you know who knows when, if that'll happen I got other opportunities in my life to prosper but uh, regardless I just uh, wanted to share what's up so uh, 
yeah, I mean, I'm just going to the aquatic center. Uh, so I got, I, this is a thing. It's all about uh, saving money, right? You know, I, I can go at nine o'clock and I can get in for $2, whereas during the day it's like seven, $8. Woo, save some money. So yeah, so I don't know. I'm looking at Apple puts. I'm looking at Tesla. If it starts really going up higher, um, to, to bump it down, get a put, um, you know, it's too expensive to get like two or three puts and it's a lot of risk, but, um, if things get observed like before, uh, where it's just the, the probabilities way in your hand, then I will pursue that. But, um, uh, I don't know. I'm also looking at getting labs position. I have a, I have a, uh, I have a call, not a call. I mean, I have I have a bid in for some somewhere a little lower than it is right now for 400 shares. So we'll see if that gets filled tomorrow or Thursday potentially. Uh, long term, I don't know if it's going to go up in the short term, but long term, I can see it being a 10 to 20 dollars stock in like one, two, or three years. Um, as well as with Valens, I mean, I may pursue uh, uh, cancel that bid and do the Valens, but. Uh, seeing with uh, Freeport McMoran because uh, they're not just a copper player. They're a big big cobalt player So and they also have gold so they're very uh, diversified and uh, There's some news about that. They may be selling an asset to some company and um, The thing with cobalt too is it's uh, they need a lot of cobalt for the batteries for Tesla so um, if you get Freeport Memoran in your in your um, you're pretty like you got a moat around it, but the price of copper is kind of shitty. But they need copper for the batteries as well. So it's like nickel, um, and then copper and lithium. So like there's like uh, Album Merrily is a lithium player, but um, that's for April for the Tesla where they're gonna have the batteries like when they're gonna kind of figure out. As well as uranium's kind of being interesting. It's up like twenty four ninety. Um, I looked at the financials. I think Kamenko reported, if I'm right. But anyways, I'm gonna end this off. I also uh, just looked at the uh, Rogers Sugars, and there was a pretty good financials, to be honest. It was about fourteen cents EPS. Um, you know, I'm not gonna give them a report card. I may do that some other time. But, um, you know, uh, they do have a dividend, like a pretty good one. I think it's like 6 to 7%. And, uh, you know, they're big, big sugar players. So, I mean, it's all it's all around the globe. I mean, if you want to be diversified as an investor, it's a company to look into. I don't inv uh, say to get like a huge, huge position in them. But I am potentially maybe. But um, anyways, keep compounding your info. Listen to my lingo. And, uh, you know enjoy the markets there's going to be a lot of volatility and um, you know just uh, preserve your capital and um, you know be be intelligent you know and uh, you know take care of yourself your mental health is important and uh, you know enjoy your life and uh, yeah shaka peace i'm out you guys take care be smarter better in 2020 make more money there's more more ways to make money in 2020 there's there's a commodities there's a whole host of commodities that could rip real high from uh, nickel to copper to uranium to gold to silver to crude potentially even um, natural gas potentially I mean there's there's a whole host so you just have to watch the the investing.com and kind of uh, have a more thesis and and um, act accordingly as far as like a position size and you have to understand what their run rate is like how long can they stay um you know whether they don't have cash concerns so that's a thing to look into but um you know i don't have lots of time to discuss this information but i thought i'd i'd update you guys because you guys have been very good to me um you know giving me tons and tons of likes i mean i don't get lots of likes but my like ratio is amazing i mean i'm always like get like 10 likes and zero dislikes so i appreciate all my viewers and subscribers they've been very great i mean not everybody's giving me likes so maybe if you haven't given the like make sure you hit that like but for the people that give me likes i really do appreciate that because without that it's hard to push further to make more videos sometimes but anyways peace i'm out take care